As we know, horse racing has deep roots in Arkansas's history with more than a century of memorable moments and names added to the history books. Before the new season kicks off in a few weeks, THV 11 Tatum Balgavy takes a look back at the story of a forgotten hero of the sport and the folks making sure his name lives on. Long before Argento was filled with murals and restaurants, it was home to this man, Alonzo Clayton. However, he didn't sit tight for long. He ran away from home when he was 10 years old. He had tried making money doing uh, shoe shining and stuff, and he just got frustrated. Lonnie left and joined his older brother, a jockey by the name of Albertus in Chicago. Lonnie quickly followed in his brother's footsteps, making his racing debut in 1890. In just two short years, he found himself in the Kentucky Derby. In 1892, he was riding a horse named Azra, and uh, he won by a nose when he was 15 years old. A victory that would go down in the history books. The youngest person ever to win the Kentucky Derby, and that was just the beginning. Clayton won hundreds of races in the 1890s, including the Arkansas Derby in 1895, earning him as much as $10,000 in one season. That's about $350,000 today. With the earnings, he came back and built this house for his family. And not just any house, a $3,000 residence with the top design of the late 19th century. Queen Anne, textbook Queen Anne, with the corner tower turret, uh, the slate roof on it. At the time, the most luxurious house North Little Rock had ever seen. In the newspapers when the house was built, it described it as, you know, a palatial, gorgeous, one of the finest houses in the area. He had a gymnasium in the attic. He had a library. I mean, it was just the finest of everything. The Clayton family received celebrity status, earning mentions in newspapers statewide. But tragically, their lives were changed forever by hatred and jealousy. He was forced out of the racing field uh, due to to racial tensions, kind of trying to force all of the, the black riders out. So by 1900, um, he wasn't riding. With the sport he loved taken from him, Clayton was forced to do the unthinkable, sell his dream home and move west, where depression and consumption took over. He had moved to Los Angeles and he died in 1917 when he was 41 years old, working as a bellhop. Sadly, for nearly a century, Lonnie Clayton's name was mostly forgotten. That is until Sandra Taylor Smith and her team revived his legacy. We, after we got all of this discovered and wrote about it and researched and researched, uh, we decided he should be in the Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame. In 2012, just down the road from the home he built, Clayton was memorialized forever. Terry Connor Johnson is the executive director of the Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame. So I put the history of Lonnie and his picture at the Kentucky Derby when he went one, and uh, it's, yeah, come in here, anybody can see it. Today, Lonnie Clayton has no family left, but his legacy lives on, not only in North Little Rock, where his house still stands, but here, a memorial marker in Louisville, Kentucky, just miles away from where he made history over a century ago. In North Little Rock, Hayden Balgavy. THV 11 News. The Engelberger House, as it's now known, has been passed on from generation to generation in the family. The current owner, Farrell Johnson, has renovated the home to once again look the way it looked back in 1895.